from family events to volunteer opportunities to community happenings, there is a lot going on in your community. Learn about all the possibilities and opportunities on this episode of Community Hotline. Hi, and welcome to Community Hotline. My name is Monica Weitzel, and we're here at Metro East Community Media in Gresham, Oregon. Tonight with us, we have, as our first guest, Future Connect. And Future Connect is uh, part of the City of Portland um, program, I guess. It's, and it's uh, going to be talked about tonight by Julian Rondello, who is the Strategies Coordinator for Future Connect. Welcome, Julian. Oh, thank you. And Josh Laurie, the Scholarship Manager from Portland Community College. So welcome, glad Thanks to have you guys on here tonight. Um, tell me, Julian, if you want to start out, if you would, tell us a little bit about Future Connect, exactly um, what it is and, and why this was started. Sure, well Future Connect is the mayor's educational initiative. And so it's a partnership between the city of Portland's mayor's office, Portland Public Parks, um, Parks and Recreation, mm -hmm. uh, the Portland Public Schools, Portland's colleges and universities and a list of community-based organizations that seek to support uh, disadvantaged youth in our community. So what, what determines uh, disadvantaged youth? What is, what is the definition of that? Generally, we're focusing on low-income and first-generation students, so students who, whose families don't have a post-secondary experience themselves. Um, and so don't mom have or those, dad have not graduated from college. Exactly, okay. and so they don't have those support systems in place um, to help them follow through with college. Is this, is this an ongoing problem? Is this something that you have found um, through research that this is a, a, a need? It is. Um, we see that in Portland, about 57% of uh, Multnomah County area students are graduating high school, and only about 18% end up finishing a post-secondary program within five years of graduating. Oh. Um, That's not very impressive, <laughs> is it? Not. What's especially alarming is that we're seeing of those post-secondary degrees, 86.1% end up going to Caucasian students, where only about 6% end up with, uh, or end up in the hands of Latino and African American wow. students. So we're wow. seeing a achievement gap that's really occurring between different demographic groups. Right. So what does Future Connect? How how is it um, aimed at helping those kids get this this secondary education? So the two primary goals of Future Connect are first to increase graduation rates by 50%, and secondly to double the amount of students entering post-secondary educational programs. Um, in addition to a scholarship that we provide to uh, Portland area students, we also have a lot of community events and uh, community workshops that really help foster college-going culture in Portland. Good, well, it sounds positive. How, how do kids get involved in this? How do they find out about it? Well, Future Connect has five America Vist AmeriCorps VISTAs that are stationed in the community centers around Portland. And so uh, they, we coordinate a lot with the Teen Force Programming, which is programming, community center programming specifically for teens. Uh -huh. So we work with uh, the Teen Force coordinators along with the community centers to like, bring these events to students and to where they're actually hanging out. Okay, okay. Now, um, Josh, you are with PCC. Yep. But you, how, how is your connection with Future Connect? How does that work? Well, the overarching kind of initiative of Future Connect comes from the city, and within that, uh, the, the college scholarship program really works with transitioning seniors. So what we do is, we, you know, for lack of a better term, we kind of latch on to the outreach that the VISTAs do out in the community, mm -hmm. and then we build uh, relationships at the high school level, both alternative-based programs and mainstream high schools, and begin working with students who are ready to trans transition to post-secondary opportunities, so like PCC. Okay. They apply uh, mm -hmm. for the scholarship, and we have four college success coaches that are connected to these different schools. Um, the idea is that we're building on the relationship that they're already building on within that high school, right. and then there's someone there to support them when they get to the college and then beyond. So even when they go to college, they have somebody there that they can, they can, exactly. they have issues, they have problems. I mean, exactly. It's how, a how limited phase. is that um, support? I mean, is it, 
Is it strictly academic support? Is it? It's a mixture. I would say all of our college success coaches are academic advisors, okay. but we're also case managers. Oh, um, okay. So uh, mostly all uh, masters of social work uh -huh. um, with a college background in advising. So these individuals are going out and trying to build that relationship early on. Many of these colleges are pretty large. The systems yeah. have several thousands of students. Uh, PCC has 92,000 students enrolled. Um, and so to put a, a face to those students is really important and to make sure right. that they have someone on campus to work with them who kind of understands their background, what they're yeah. coming from, and the barriers to the face uh, is, is important. Well, because academic success is one thing, but really unless the kids have a, um, good support, you know, or, or themselves are very disciplined, which not, you know, not all kids are, not all, all adults are. It's, it's good to have somebody there that kind of, kind of coach them and help them through some of the, the tougher tougher things, you know, that's a, that's a big transition going from high school to college. Culturally, it's massive. I mean, I think yeah. that just the, the cultural chasm that exists between high school and college and what we expect of the college student is, is quite a bit different, so. Yeah. We, we no longer hold their hands. <laughs> they're they're, they're yeah. on their own, pretty much. Yeah. So, okay, you said that the kids will find out about um, Future Connect from the different centers, and then the VISTAs are out there, um, but if they're interested then, if somebody just happens to hear about it, how, can anybody, Apply. I know it's, it's uh, kids who are either um, at a, a lower economic level, where their families are, or their parents haven't graduated from college. Um, if, those, if the kids qualify then, what, what can they do to become involved? Well, we see uh, there's a lot of partnerships between the college and career centers and the mm -hmm. high schools and Future Connect. So there's usually a line of communications between okay. Future Connect and the college and career center. So there's, there's people at the high schools are gonna pass this inf information on to the kids. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. what, what does it cost the kids to become involved in this? It's actually a free program. And okay. so we're actually the ones that are providing money for the students oh. um, and providing the incentives for them. So there's really not many barriers for students to participate in these programs. Sounds kind of like a win-win situation to sure. me. It's, it is. So, um, okay, so if people are interested in doing this then, that obviously they, they can go through their, their high schools and that kind of thing. Tell, tell me again about the support. They, they get support in high school and in college, correct? Mm -hmm. What, what, are they, what, are they, what do you do for them in high school? What, what's involved there? Well, coming up, uh, we have a Future Connect Challenge, and this is one of our bigger events that we mm -hmm. do in the high schools that really support um, college culture and college advancement. Uh, what it is is we break down the college application process in about four <laughs> easy to complete steps. I remember uh, doing that with my <laughs> daughter, and it's gonna be a real pain. It can, yeah. Yeah. Um, but you know, we try to make it fun and try to create some incentive for it. And so we break it down into the four steps of finding community or family support, researching you know, how you're gonna pay for it, so whether it be through mm -hmm. OSOC scholarships or FAFSA, then it's you know, finding the right fit, what college you're gonna go to, what are you gonna study, and then finally, it's making sure you're gonna follow through with it, that you're gonna mm -hmm. graduate high school and that you're gonna apply for college. And so, for each week, students are assigned one of these steps, and for each step they complete, they get entered into a prize raffle. And so oh, we're creating nice. these incentives for students right, to do it. And right. there's some great prizes we have to offer. So we're you know, hoping to uh, you know, give um, an internship away for winners. We also have like nice. a, <laughs> uh, Trailblazers tickets and a job mm -hmm. shadow, um, a scholarship slot as well. And so there's a lot of incentives and great yeah. career advancement prizes yeah. that we offer for it. Nice, nice, that sounds good. Okay, so then the, the kids get involved and they do that. What about, um, is there any, do you, do you work with them at all as far as helping them choose a school? If they wanna, is there any help with them maybe um, do you tour schools or anything like that? Sure, we have a list of college fairs that we do. Um, for instance, February 6th, we're gonna have uh, a college fair at David Douglas High School. And so the idea for this is targeting, you know, local schools, so whether it be Portland Community College or Clackamas Community College or Mount Hood Community College, um, we're trying to get them and a lot of other trade schools to come to the school and so students can kind of, you know, meet the staff. Yeah. And then also, it's kind of an opportunity for students who don't already have college plans or didn't really plan on going on the four-year track to, mm -hmm. you know, ha have someone right there, see their possibilities with these schools. Right. And, Good deal. I think you brought a video that we should probably show, take a look at it, and um, give us a little better idea of, of what we can expect. So I think this will be a good time to roll that video now. We have a problem. Only one third of Multnomah County High School students will go on to college after graduation. Even fewer will finish. 
There are countless reasons why these students don't succeed. Lack of money, childcare, overall lack of support, the list goes on. But now there's a solution. An innovative program created through a partnership between the City of Portland and PCC that takes student success to the next level. One that provides one-on-one -on -one guidance and direct support to students from their first day at college all the way to graduation. This program is Future Connect. And in September 2011, 150 students joined its first class and started a journey that would change their lives forever. They have a long way to go to reach their dreams, but with Future Connect, they can get there. What if you could change the future for at-risk students? You can. You can. You can. Future Connect is a scholarship program at PCC that works with first generation and low income students. I was very drawn to Future Connect because I thought this is it. This is the program that is the bridge, the conduit from high school to college. And not just getting students in, but helping students succeed at the next level. Future Connect is the lifeline for students. In order to be successful, you gotta have somebody by your side, especially because of the backgrounds that these students have come across. They don't have a lot of positive encouragements. And so having a professional, somebody that's gone through the course and just can show you the ropes is so important. Unlike many scholarship programs, we don't just provide money to students. While the money is important, we build a relationship with them before their high school career is over. So every time we meet with a student, we ask them, so what's your dream? And then we want to get to what their dream is and how college can be part of that. Future Connect gives you the positivity, the encouragement, the power. It's a different way, it's a different style, it's, it's effective. In America, if you don't go to school, then it's hard. Before Future Connect, I've dropped out of school. I got kicked out once. I was always getting into trouble. Before I was on this path, I didn't do well in high school and I dropped out when I was 16. I was basically just going through the motions of life. I didn't have a sense of direction. Sometimes I feel like it's so hard. I can't do this, it's too much, I'm overwhelming, but I say, you know, school is so important. I was thinking about not even going to school, but then they kept a positive attitude. They made things seem so exciting and like it would be beneficial. I went back to school and it was really tough, but it's really important and it's, it's really special to me. I want to have a degree, I want to have a career, and I want to be able to give my kids the, the stuff that I never had. My family like feels so proud about me because it's like they know that they have a person in the family to count on. I was pretty proud of myself. I'm much happier and determined to graduate. I'm like the first person among my family to receive a scholarship or even go to college or graduate high school. Now it's like I feel like I can do like everything because Future Connect is there and they are there for me. They are helping me to get my dream. I want to be a pharmacist. My dream is to be a social worker. I want to be a dental hygienist. Thank you to PCC and thank you to Future Connect Scholarship. I think that this program has definitely made a huge impact on my life and I know that it's made a huge impact on other people. Now I feel like I have this purpose and I'm fulfilling my dreams and I'm doing what I'm meant to do. Wow, that's great. I hope all the kids feel that, <laughs> they feel that way about it. That's, that's a lot of... Um, positive reinforcement for the program. So this program is uh, part of the of Mayor Adams' office, of the mayor's office. How, mm -hmm. how, did, how did he get this started, or who, who actually was behind it? Well, I, I think the, the program itself is, is really a unique partnership uh, between uh, the mayor's office, City of Portland, mm -hmm. and PCC Foundation. Um, and those two entities working together, PCC Foundation matches every dollar that comes in through mm -hmm. the city, make this possible. Um, and at PCC right now, we are working with 200 incoming students uh, every year. Um, Mount Hood Community College as well has mm -hmm. slots, and Clackamas oh, okay. Community College as well has slots. Oh, good. Um, good. But I think the partnership between the two entities is really what makes that possible. I mean, I see that video, and it's, it's exciting. I see all the smiles. It's it great. is, it is. So. And you were excited on that I, video, I, I, too. I get excited <laughs> every great. time I see it. Well, it's great. Isn't it great to have work for a program that you actually think works and, and, and you feel supportive of? Definitely. What, um, so the, we talked a little bit about what happens when the kids go through high school. When they get to college, what, what happens then? How, how are you able to support them? I know, obviously, we talked a little bit about how there's mentors there, mm -hmm. there, there um, so, they have the background to, to give exactly. them support, but what, what does that entail? I think the idea is that we're connecting students to a bridge 
uh, that you know bridges uh, high school to college and so one of the activities we do is we do a summer all-day workshop with every student mm. they come out to the campus for eight hours and we go through kind of what the, the culture of college is going to look like for them to help prepare them for their first term then in that first term they they have a class uh, that's taught by one of our college success coaches so the same individual that was working with them at the high school uh, level is now God. one of their instructors at PCC nice. and so they have this built-in mechanism where they're able to check in and make sure yeah you're staying on track everything looks good and then from there, uh, that's their single advisor through their experience at PCC, uh, as general advisor, okay. I should say. And then if they transition, we now have some relationships built with PSU and Lewis and Clark to provide scholarships to the next level. Okay. So really, as much as we want them to get into the community college, we just as quickly would love for them to go on to that next step uh, to earn a bachelor's degree. Great, that's great. Well, we're out of time already, and I, and I loved hearing all about it because it sounds like a really positive program, and I hope that it goes great guns. So we have the information on the screen. If people are interested in finding out more about Future Connect, they can uh, go to the website, they can contact you directly. Um, if people want to go to the Future Connect Challenge or be part of the Future Connect Challenge, that is October 5th through November 5th, and they can find the information on your website. And then the College Trade Fair, which is at David Douglas High School in February, February 6th from 3 to 4.30 p.m. So all the information on your website. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Jillian, very much for being part of this. Thank, and thank you. you for watching this first segment of Community Hotline. Don't go away. We'll be right back with the uh, International Carpe Diem Foundation.